Hey guys, it's Victoria. Welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, make sure you subscribe. Thanks guys so much for everyone who watched my last video. It was a vlog of me meeting Gabby DiMartino. That was such an amazing experience. So I really hope that you guys all liked that video. And if you guys didn't see me freaking out on Instagram, Gabby like shared that video on Twitter and she also followed me on Twitter and I was completely freaking out to say the least. So that was so amazing and I can't thank her enough and she has to know at this point that I love her. So uh, yeah, so I hope you guys liked that video. Uh, if you didn't check it out, make sure you go and do that. Um, I will have a link made on the screen and also down below in the description. So anyway, let's get started with today's video. So today I am using the BH Cosmetics Opalescent Palette and saw it in Ulta and it was just so pretty. So I had to try it out and it just pretty much just screams spring. So all these colors are all these colors are so pretty and pastel and you have a lot of neutrals. So I this palette just looks so so pretty and really affordable as well. So that's always great and I try and do that every once in a while for you guys. As you guys know, I like to give you guys more affordable options. So this has 24 colors in it. So I've tried BH Cosmetics before. Their quality is usually pretty good. Super excited to try this palette. So let's get started. So as you guys can see, I did my face makeup already. I just like to kind of do that so that it takes up less time because it would just be repetitive. I'm starting out by just applying some concealer onto my lids so that we have a base to work with. I want to keep this like, I think a nice soft pink, just like pastel kind of eye look. Super springy, even though it's not looking super springy out today. Looks pretty cloudy and gross out actually, but it's all good. We're gonna pretend like it's springy out. Okay, I'm gonna start out by going into the shade Flutter, just a matte off-white creamy kind of color. And I'm just applying this. To sort of help to set the concealer and then i'm going to go into the shade dainty which is the light brown right next to it and i'm going to just add this into my crease just creating some definition on my eye before adding the colors we also got like so many subscribers in like a week i think i probably got at least another 10 subscribers and that's crazy so thank you guys for everyone who subscribed that's like insane um so yeah <laughs> so i mean it doesn't sound like a lot but it's a lot for me i always say that that really means a lot so thank you and yeah that's crazy so let's keep going up we're on the road to 200 so i cannot wait for that and yeah so back to the video <laughs> now i'm going to go into the shade bright and alluring, which are two pinky colors with a little more orangey. And I'm just adding this to my crease. I'm going to go into the shade Gorgeous, which is a light brown, and just add that to my outer corners, sort of softly blend it into my crease just a little bit. So I'm gonna go into my concealer and just cut the inner half of lids I think because there's so many pretty shimmery colors I'll really be able to use them with, by doing this I'm going to go into this really pretty light purple shimmery color that's such a pretty shade it's called twilight and I'm just going to add this to my lids it's such a pretty pastel shimmer color I love that one to go into the shade Romance, which is another shimmer. It's super pretty. And I'm applying that to the center of my lids. Oh, it's so pretty. Wow, these are so pigmented. Shimmery colors are so good. And I'm going to go into the shade Stunner, which is just the light. It's, another, it's a little bit of a deeper brown, but it's still pretty light. I'm just going to add this. I'm going to go into the shade Vivacious, and it's just a little bit of a deeper shimmery pink, and adding that on the edge where the matte meets the shimmer. I'm going to go in with a blending brush again, and I'm going to go into the shade Bright, 
and grace which is in light brown and i'm going to really blend out this edge because i was kind of thinking maybe no wing today because then it would be really soft and perfect for spring i don't know i just feel like when there's a wing it automatically looks more intense so maybe if i just put on some nice lashes it might look like more pretty and soft i'm going to go into the shade magic because that looks like such a cool color and i'm just going to apply this to my lower lash line just the like inner corner to the middle and i'm going to go into the shade wish because i have to use this color it looks like such a nice purple and then i'm just blending that out from the outer edge to the middle i'm going to go in with a smaller eyeshadow brush and i'm going to go into the shade star which is this color right here in the middle. I'm going to add this to my inner corners and my brow bone. I'm gonna apply these Ardell lashes. So as you guys can see, they're like thinner, but they're still pretty long. So now I'm going to use my eyeliner and I'm just going to fill in this spot here. Using this Lancome mascara is the Becca Cosmetic. What did I just say? I'm going to use the Becca. Wow, I can't talk. So for highlighter, I'm using the Becca Cosmetics Shimmering Skin Perfector in the shade Lilac Geode. So this is what the Becca highlight looks like. Super pretty, very spring. Really will help bring out the purple and the pink in the eye. So for lips, I'm using the NYX Matte Lip Liner. This is the Suede Matte Lip Liner in the shade Lavender and Lace. I use this one a lot. For lip gloss, I'm using the shade 23 from Kylie Cosmetics. So this is the finished look. As far as the palette goes, I really, really, really liked this one. Um, I think that the colors in it are so pigmented. Like, the shimmery shades, like, sometimes you can't get, like, a high-end brand of makeup to have that kind of a good quality shimmer. So, that's, I was really impressed with that. Um, that's why I, like, really tried to put them on my lids. And, yeah, so I think that this is such a wearable palette. Super great for summer and spring because you can it's just like a lighter eye look um and i really feel like you can't go wrong with any of the colors in this palette they're all so so wearable and i feel like this would be a great palette for beginners because you don't have to worry about going like too dark or anything so i really like the way this eye look turned out i'm very happy i didn't do a wing because it makes it more subtle and soft perfect for spring that's what i was going for so that's it for today's video i hope you guys liked it if you did be sure to like comment share and subscribe hit the bell button when you subscribe it's right next to it to turn on my post notifications so you're notified when i upload every single new video i upload a new video every week so be sure to go check out last week's video and you guys can also find me on instagram facebook and snapchat at victoria Cassands and on twitter at vic Cassands. so make sure you go follow me on there and let me know what you guys think of this palette if you go check it out um, I will leave a link if I find one down below in the description for you guys. Um, so if you're interested, you can go check it out. Super affordable, good quality, highly recommend. Um, and yeah, so I will see you guys in my next video. Thanks for watching. Bye!